What are three words to describe the AMC? Three words. Real. Life. Warm. Art. Depth. Create. Media means taking back our stories and reappropriating them from where they were and using our own voices to tell our stories. Media, that's basically anything you can use to get the word out. You know, media can go beyond digital. I work in public radio, community radio in Melbourne. Before I started working there, media was like legitimacy, right? It was um, importance, it was what people important people did and what everyone else accessed. Media is a way to me to actually change the world. It's a way to communicate to people and uh, share um, you know, valuable information. Media could represent like a, a harmful and oppressive um, system, um, but it can also be a, a, an infinitely creative space where people can start changing the narratives that they hear about themselves and really getting to say what they want to say. There's a strong presence of people of color that are in leadership positions, which is fantastic. Um, and there um, is an awareness around why that's powerful. In my work, I did um, produce and presented a show, but I also did radio training for young women of color in Melbourne. I was trying to demonstrate that the voices of young people, particularly young women of color, are just as legitimate as voices of old white men, right, or older white women. So what goes on here is ground zero and is bound to come to other places, uh, like low-income communities, communities of color uh, around the country. And so there's a lot to be learned from uh, what's going on with Detroit. And um, I love that the, the conference is hosted here uh, in the city. I think intergenerational work is is the movement. I mean, it's the only way that we're ever going to see justice or peace is if it's all ages. So we're not going to find a way to build a movement if it's not intergenerational. I think that one of the key components to balancing youth leadership and working with adults would be for adults to strive to be allies to the young people that they work with instead of working for them. I think what's one thing that's like missing from like adult youth uh, collaborations uh, that's that's needed uh, more, more so needed is um, is more listening and I, and I think it, it comes from both sides. It's beneficial because you'll be able to hear more sides of the story. I mean, if it's only young people coming, then you will only hear one side. Young people and um, adults have like two different perspectives that are good to bring together because then you have a wider view of like what the world is really about. Things should be balanced based on what people know and how people want to learn. It is very, it is extremely true that no one stops learning, no matter what age you are. I heard a lot about AMC, um, so I was really excited to be here. I was hoping to um, meet some interesting people from different parts of the country or different parts of the world. and. Um, have the opportunity to have some conversations that I don't get to have in my everyday life. I was hoping to get some skills that uh, I could take back with me and uh, use in my community organizing. Um, I was hoping to get more knowledge about the things that we do for social justice, like the different types of workshops that they had was like very interesting. I was hoping to learn more than I already know, which I did. Um, one of the things that stands out to me about the AMC is that um, I feel like the AMC conference is one of the few spaces that comes as close as possible to really living out like the mission that it talks about. Meet people that come from different states without really, you know, it's besides a tour attraction or, or things like that, we get to meet new people and while wow, learning new things. People should attend the AMC because they will be experiencing a unique and wonderfully challenging learning environment like no other.